Hey, what's up, you guys? John here with Sandbox Memorabilia, and I am back for another weekly installment of Grains of Sand, my version of the two cents, where I'm just going to hop on here every week, just talk about my life, the industry, the hobby as a whole, just kind of try to put it all together. This was a funny story. So my mother actually called me the other day and said, hey, I really like that YouTube series you got going on, that that what that video diary you're doing. And I never really thought of it like that, but I guess it kind of, it could be taken in that, in that light and with that tone, you know, it does have that diary vibe. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I didn't intend for it to come out like that, but there is something to be said about reflecting on things and just in general. So let's say in my case, this week or this last couple of weeks have been, um, I, I don't want to say stagnant. I, there's always a ton of moving parts. I mean, I have the the union marketplace is coming up this weekend. The nationals at the end of the month. In between those, I'm going down to Florida to meet with my business partner. So it, it is going to get hectic again. But even financially, there's only so much I can do. Now, what's downtime really, though? I mean, it's it's not like I'm, you know, sitting around doing nothing all day, waiting for somebody to show up with a collection for me to browse through. I mean, it just doesn't work like that. Like, yeah, I'm always try, I try to be patient with that sort of thing, just because you can't force numbers to work for you. So get online, network with people. I'm on the phone, I'm on social media every single day. I probably talk to 10 new people, whether it be a show promoter, uh, some executive for whatever company, you know, believe me, I, I keep myself very busy, even if you're just on social media, which is, you gotta be careful with that. What I mean is like dabbling, posting things, commenting on stuff, just, Keeping active, having people see your name and your logo pop up is pretty important for your, your brand, your identity online, especially when you don't have a store like me. Keeping your presence out there is, is good, but you can't rely on social media. Social media is not paying your bills, so you don't want to be on there all day, every day, kind of getting nowhere. Then you just kind of feel like, you know, a high schooler browsing through during homeroom. You know, you're not, you're not actually being productive. You're not doing anything. So you got to be careful with that. The big, uh, the big addictive social media machine, right? If it's not being productive, maybe hop off for a little while. But and I'm utilizing my time networking and honestly just reflecting. Just uh, I don't like to bring up my personal stuff here, but yesterday was my daughter's birthday and she just turned 16. And uh, any of you parents out there know what I'm talking about. 16, you know, doesn't make sense to you. Like to me, she's three. I still want to go watch The Little Mermaid with her and like, you know, play dress up and stuff like that. But those days are gone and it sucks because um, it's anyway, it just does. It, it sucks. And in my situation, she's still in Rhode Island. I moved to South Carolina. You can imagine um, the stress all around that kind of even when it's agreed upon and everything else, it, it's it's a lot and it's not easy and it comes with a lot of weight. Teenagers are tough in general, but she's got a lot going on in, in her life. And then you factor in me being gone and not being there like I'd like to be has really affected me quite a bit. So anyway, the, the downtime to really reflect and focus my energy on that is really important right now because uh, it just would take up, one would take away from the other. If the business was going crazy and I'm going, my personal life was going crazy, it, that's a nightmare. So I'm glad I'm able to focus on my personal life. Then I can really get my mind right and attack the business side of it. So hopefully that's what happens anyway. Who knows? All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up here, but I do want to jump back to that thing I was talking about with my mother calling this a video diary, because the, the more I thought about it, the more I kind of liked that. And uh, the, the, the only thing that I have to compare it to would be like a social media memory, something that pops up, uh, like uh, you know something I said on Facebook like 11 years ago. And as insignificant as it may be, just some goofy joke I said or something, I can almost hear the song I was listening to that day. I can, I remember I lived in my, my first house I ever bought, um, a picture of my backyard. I think I was grilling that day. Something so insignificant, it just puts you back in a place. And I feel like something, you know, feels insignificant now because, you know, look, look at this. I've been on here for however many minutes kind of feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm almost talking in circles, but rewatching this, whether it be next week, next month, next year, or five years from now or whatever, you, it takes on a whole new tone. And I didn't intend for this whole grains of sand to kind of be a diary, but now the more I think about it, 
I, I really like that idea. And uh, I think especially with the downtime, it'll help fine tune the whole, the whole thing here. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. And uh, I'll sign off on, on that note. But if you're still watching, I love you too. <laughs> Till next time. Thank you.